What's up guys, this is Louie, and today I have something kind of awesome for you guys. It is the full tutorial on how to downgrade an iPad mini 1 to iOS 8.4.1. Now this was literally the worst thing I've ever tried to do. Like it was so difficult to figure out how to get this right. Like it took me probably a week of messing around with it every day. I just really wanted to do it. So... I don't even use my iPad Mini 1, I just needed to do this, so I did. I figured it out. Um, so if you want to do it, you can. I, you just follow along with this video, so let's just get right into it. So first you're going to need um, Phoenix Pwn 4, uh, the IPA, you can just download it from this website, link will be in the description. And then what you're going to want to do is install it on your iPad Mini 1. log into your Apple ID. I have a burner Apple ID that I use for this. Um, and if you have issues with Impactor, just re-download it. I'll have a link for Impactor in the description. The description is going to be full of stuff in this video. For the next step of this, you're going to want to add this repository on Cydia. So once you're jailbroken, and if you need to figure out how to jailbreak, I have a video on that, which I'll probably link in the description and in the card up there. Um, you're going to add this repo and I'll put it on screen right now. So what you're going to want to install is enter KDFU. Okay, you're going to hit install, add to the queue. Then we're also going to install Apple File Conduit 2. This is, this is all really important stuff um, that you must do for this to work. So we have all these things that are going to install, confirm, and then this is super important. You need to unplug your device from your computer when you're doing this. Um, I'm not going to explain that, just do it. Okay, great. So, it's doing that, and we're going to let this finish up any day now. As long as you unplug before you hit restart springboard, you'll be fine. So now we're restarting, or respringing, not restarting. There's a very big difference there. And I'm preparing to plug my iPad mini in as soon as I can. Okay, and let's make sure we're still jailbroken. We are. Great, so you can close everything, and for the most part, oh, one more thing we need to install. Shoot. Um, you're going to need M-Terminal. So we installed that Enter KDFU thing, and that required, we need M-Terminal to use that. But we'll come back to M Terminal later. But it is free, so just install it. It should be in the default repositories. So now we're going to go back to the computer. Okay, so next there's going to be a download link in the description for this folder, which will have everything you need. I recommend just putting it on your desktop. So what we're going to do now is we're going to need to open iFunbox. And I'll have a link for that as well in the description. Um, and this is why you wanted to unplug your iPad during that respring. So you should be able to see everything because you are jailbroken. So what we're going to do is pull up our handy dandy little folder downgrade thing. Put these two things in here. These will go on your device. Um, yeah, so you just do that. So now they're there. And now we are going to attempt to SSH into this device. Okay, something I forgot to say earlier when you were installing stuff on Cydia is you also need to search for and install OpenSSH. I thought it installed automatically with Apple File Conduit, but it does not. Maybe it did for you, but just make sure you have it. So then we get to the fun stuff. So we're opening Terminal, and we're going to type as follows. We're going to type SSH root and then what you need to do is type the at sign and then go in your iPad and go to the Wi-Fi settings and the Wi-Fi you and your laptop are connected to press the I next to the Wi-Fi name and type in the IP address right after so this is just your local IP address so you can't hack me because I'm sharing this and no one will be able to hack you for doing this okay so then you're gonna hit enter and it's gonna say yes or no you're gonna hit yes 
and then you need to enter the password of your device. Now it's not your numerical password, it's the root password which is Alpine by default. So you're going to hit enter once you type Alpine and we are now inside the file system. Okay, now that you're here, you I'm just going to type clear just to clear it up. So we're in the iPad mini. We're in my iPad mini, you can tell right here that it's the title. So you're going to type SU, hit enter, you're going to type cd space dot dot cd space dot dot and I think we're in the root directory yes we are so you type ls you can list all your stuff okay then what you want to type is chmod 777k loader and then you want to type what I believe I have it in the commands here um, just kidding, no I don't. Ignore that for now. You'll need that later though. Uh, you're going to type this. You're going to type uh, dot slash kloader. These are the files that we put in here. IBSS. Then you're going to hit enter. And you just pwned the iPad mini. Um, so yeah, now you are in pwned DFU mode. As you can see, I leave Studio Impactor up to let me know the status of my device. iTunes should be freaking out. I guess not. iTunes is weird. So, that's good. Now we can move on to the next step. Okay, so my iPad was not being recognized by iTunes, so I replugged it back in. Uh, just unplugged it, replugged it back in, and now it's being detected in recovery mode, which is what you want. So, then you're going to open terminal again. And I still have it open. Let's just terminate this one. Open a new one and we're going to type CD. And then you're going to do this little handy trick where you just drag this folder because we want to be inside this folder. This is where we're going to be running commands from. So then we're set. So then what you want to do is, did I just close that? Yeah, I did. Hopefully I'm not showing sensitive documents. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go back into our iPad mini downgrade folder, open up our commands. Fun commands, guys. Hacking. This is hacking right here. You're witnessing it. Um, so yeah, this is what you want. So I don't actually need that open right now, but what you need to do is hit OK, and then click on this once. It's going to show your ECID. You're going to copy that, and then you can be done with iTunes, but you should probably leave it open just because. And then we're going to type dot slash TSS checker. If you don't feel like typing this all, you can just copy it. Underscore Mac OS dash E, and then we're going to paste our ECID in. Is that okay? Yeah. There we go. Now we need a space, and then we're going to type minus i 8.4.1 minus d ipad 2 comma 5 because this is the ipad mini original yes that was a voice crack get over it at dash s and then we're going to hit enter And we're going to let this go. So this is going to do a bunch of stuff to your device. And I'm not sure. Let's see if we can go back in here. OK, we do have the SH, SH2 blob. So. So it's right here, and I'm just going to rename this to blob dash h2. That's correct. I had to look at my notes here. Okay, so then you can let this run. I just let it run, so I, I don't, I'm not sure what is really happening, but just got to let it run through its stuff right there. Okay, so this finished, and then what we're going to type is uh dot slash ipad two comma five 
fix.sh. So this is a vital thing because this is the reason why people are having issues and it didn't work for anyone. So you're going to run that and type alpine. Oh, never mind. It's the password to your computer. Haha, <laughs> got it. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is open a new tab on terminal. Okay. Now that we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to put in that command. Do I still have my commands open? No, I do not. We need this command. Um, why do I have two blobs? Can I get some info on this one? Okay, well, let's just use this new one. So let's just put this here for now. Okay, sorry. We're going to rename that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get to your iOS 8.4.1 PSW and you're going to put it in here and you want to rename it something simple because you're going to type the name in a second so oh god this is just so much to remember sorry so you're going to open up commands I've only done this once so I'm trying to remember everything correctly uh yes so we're going to i'm just going to copy this because i can't mess this up and i'm also filming my ipad mini right now because uh, what's about to happen is going to be recorded so and I'm going to try to put it uh, overlay it so you can all see what's happening in real time okay then we're going to type blob.shsh2 and then space ios 8.ipsw so just make sure we got all the names correct we did and then we're going to hit enter okay so I may or may not have typed that command incorrectly because I'm bad, but that's okay. <laughs> we're going to retry and we're going to type blob.sh2. Why is that so hard to say? And then space iOS 8.ipsw and we're going to hit enter. And it's going to give us this deadly countdown doomsday death. And okay, now we're going to look at your iPad because in a second, the screen will flash green, knowing that you have literally taken over every aspect of it. And it just got the green flash, and it is now giving me the Apple logo. So this is just gonna go and go and go, and it should finish. iTunes is gonna freak out and yell at you, and everything's gonna be crazy. But all you need to do, all you need to do is sit tight, um, don't click anything, don't type anything, don't touch your computer, don't unplug your device, don't mess with the cable because you can break your device from doing this if it's unplugged. Attempting this will not break your device, but it's more or less safe. <laughs> Just don't unplug it mid re-restore because that's, um, yikes, don't do that. So we're now waiting. So a fun part about this downgrade is this is like an official downgrade so your device communicated with Apple servers and Apple was like yes this is a verified IPSW you can go ahead and install this on your iPad and we will recognize that so you shouldn't have any issues sending into iMessage or shenanigans with the time or accessing the internet so yeah so it should be pretty smooth uh, you might get some weirdness on the initial first boot um, it's kind of unpredictable like this is like uncharted territory um, there's really almost no information on this downgrade on the internet so big thanks to iNeon6000 I believe is his name or 600 I'll link his Twitter and stuff in the description uh, because he was the one who supplied me with this file which makes it everything work um, and he is the only person that, that I know of that has actually downgraded an iPad mini before. So, yeah, so I, I just thought I'd make this video because now it'll be out there that if anyone wants to follow along and do this, all you need to know on your own account is how to jailbreak a device, which I have a video on. It's super easy. So we're just waiting. 
it's sending the file system to the iPad and something you should notice at this time is this little bar here should more or less line up with the bar on the screen of your iPad and my voice is cracking all over the place so I'm just gonna shut up for the remainder of this and I'll get back to you once this has finished. Okay, so restoring succeeded. So that is good. So we're gonna close out of this. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> okay. I, iPhone box, you can get out. Impactor, you can get out. Leaf terminal, text edit, you can get out. Um, iTunes, you can get out. Um, so right now, I assume I'm still gonna have the overlay right now. Okay, it just detected my iPad. It's it's on the first boot on iOS 8. Let's see what happens. We're loading, we are buffering. The iPad does not know what it's doing. Set up as new iPad. Don't sync my iPad. Okay, well. It's not going to sync. It's still on the Apple logo. No. Stop this. Okay. Um, cancel. 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 Okay. We're going to go to the iPad now. So, here we are on the iPad. It is successfully booted into iOS. 8.4.1, let me just enter my Wi-Fi password. I can't let anyone know what that is for personal paranoia reasons. So there we go. We're going to enable location services. Skip this step. Don't use. God, I could set up an Apple device in my sleep. OK, agree. Don't add passcode. Continue. Uh, sure, use Siri. Don't send. Get started. There we are. That's it. We did it. I don't know how long this video is, but in like 20 or 30 minutes, you did this, which was previously almost impossible. Okay, so on iOS 8.4.1, we have access to all our storage. This is not a cool booter or a partition. This is a real iPad running iOS 8.4.1 we're still getting <laughs> the rotate glitches but that's okay so um, that is a full video on how to downgrade the iPad mini 1 iOS 8 from iOS 9